Alright guys, we're here with my sing monsters looking at the epic scups as well as the rare one and the normal one that is now available in the game. So here's all three of them and I just wanted to go over them. But before we do that, I want you guys to be able to hear what it's doing. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so I, I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. Basically, it's making sound when it's uh, it's like a suction cup, okay? I guess that's why they call it the scups, right? It's, it it is basically a uh, suction cup kind of thing. This is this blue one is the regular one, which is the normal one. Versatile scups can readily adhere to most any surface when the need arises. Generally, it prefers to remain on the earth as its water-filled body is quite heavy. The scup's remarkable feet use air to produce a call that can travel vast distances. So that is the regular one. Now this one is the rare one. This one is the black and green and purple. And I guess they call it natural class is rare but it's natural whatever that's supposed to mean all right the rare scups bioluminescent spurs are perfectly suited to its predominantly nocturnal lifestyle sure it performs along during the day but it's a total mystery what it does after the sun sets all right and it says once in a while a company of ambitious monsters will Resolve to stay up long enough to witness a rare scups in nighttime action But the siren song of the castle's bed Always proved too much to resist and be I think that's basically saying that uh, It gets sleepy so they fall asleep whenever it happens and then you have this is the epic one Which is the newest one at this moment in time after emerging from its ember encasement flutter the freed thing laid eyes on a common scups and immediately felt a suction cupped kinship so basically there, there's something i don't know i don't know what a flutter is all right so anyways it led a handful of chosen scups on a journey into its native realm of thinga thingaya <laughs> i'm not sure i mean i think it's either thinga or thingaya all right so i think thingaya sounds better but anyways Home of all things, immersed in a whimsical world of stickiness, these scups soon morphed into flutter-like epics, a testament to their second home. So basically, they were regular scups before, right? Ah, no wonder they have the same heart shape, all right? And I guess their mouth kind of changed, but you notice the, I guess, they all look very different in in my opinion, I guess, because the rare one in the back, right, which is the, the black one right here, this one has spikes and thorns and stuff like that. This one, I guess it looks closest to the regular one, but it has wings and it's, I don't know if that's a mouth or a, that's a nose, but anyways, that turned into like a suction kind of thing there. And I guess the colors are different. Other than that, yeah, I mean, it also has a heart-shaped face, right? The, the regular one has like two, I don't even know what you call those things. Basically, as, uh, I'm not sure if it's horns or ears, <laughs> but anyways, there's the monsters. We'll be back in the next video, the epic scup versus the regular scup and the rare one as well. That's what it looks like, and I guess we'll be back next time as we look at more monsters and my singing monsters.